Hey, welcome back, my scrubs, to another episode of Fran Bo. I know it's been a while. I'm so sorry. To be honest, kind of forgot about this. I got so caught up with Danganronpa. Uh, I've been getting requested to finish this game forever, and I'm like, you know what? I should finish it. I don't like leaving things unfinished. Last episode, uh, I actually streamed it, so I'll, I'll link it right here. It's kind of long, but you can skip through it if you want. I gotta take this off. This is too hot. Okay, that feels a lot better. So yeah, anyway, last episode, we were in that weird land, and then we got... We, we, we proceeded. <laughs> to be honest, I know we went to like a doctor, we did some ritual, there was too much stuff. I don't even really know what happened. I don't think anyone could explain what happened, but that was a very fun stream. I've been wanting to stream it, but I've just been so busy. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. All I know is that we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. Oh, friend, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we are on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one who tried to cross before we fell to the Aethersta? <laughs> yes, I remember. Great, let's keep on going, kitty. We have to be careful now. Okay. Oh, yeah, she gets our pills back. No! You can't take Fran's pills! You know how much she loves those? Oh, God, they're just lowering her. How messed up. Nobody takes my pills and get away, gets away with it. All right, here we go. Oh! Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad friend, bad. See? <laughs> Stay off the stuff, man. What should I do now, kitty? We're trapped forever. I'm sure I have a knife, yes. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh, this creepy dude again. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you were not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you get to Mr. Midnight back, you see? Or get him back. Really? Huh? I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made my sisters the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me, you see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend, the long man with the top hat? I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes? I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that... You were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Well, hey, you know what? Great. We need to get home. You know what? Everything in my being tells me not to trust this man, but I'm gonna do the opposite. Take me home. It won't hurt you. I'm not made of darkness. I'm your friend. Um, alright. You seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Oh, wow, he does got some long legs, doesn't he? Did he mention that? I don't know. I'm mentioning it. All right, let's freaking go with him. Oh, my man's got a time machine. Behold, the Itward flying machine. What do you think? I, I love it. I think it's pretty impressive. It has many buttons to push, which I like. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. Uh, it's when time becomes slower and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. So yes, the, we're, we're time traveling. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel uh, wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? Do you think she understands? Yes! <laughs> I do understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you are done fixing the machine? Wait? Of course not. You can help by getting water and fire berries, alright? Alright. I'll do it. Great! Here's my amazing handmade bucket uh, for the water. I made it myself. Oh god. I sense more puzzles coming. Oh, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick because of the fire. Are they really on fire? All right, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Uh, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is going to get rid of the dirt, the kamalas. Oh, kamalas, I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We, n we never know, but we do know what they don't like. Water, yes? 
Oh, darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Same things are still invisible to your eyes you see here. Oh, great. Thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without them. Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap like in one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. You think I should trust him, guys? Hey, this looks like berries. I'm gonna eat- Those look like berries. I'm gonna get them. Oh, that won't work. They're not on fire. That's right. Okay. Where should I go? Click everything. Don't forget to click the molecules. Because if you don't, you won't know where to go. Oh, this tree looks perfect to build a little tree house on. How lovely. Okay, well, th yeah, that doesn't really help us right now, does it? Fran. Oh, I forgot the pills, obviously. What is this? So much hair and so shiny. Hair? Spider webs? I feel like in a magical world of hair. Okay, was well, there fire berries over here? Ooh, that looks like me. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty flesh, flesh. Mmm. Dude, she needs to get off these things. Seriously. You are the Kamalas, aren't you? I don't think those are those. Those the Kamala's last episode seemed a lot nicer. So that's replacing the time machine, right? Wow, what a difference. What the heck is this? Get out, get out! You are trespassing on my territory! Huh? Excuse me? I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? Like, there's nothing that would make me they make someone think that. You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me, rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Uh, misunderstanding? <laughs> Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose, but I am not a moose. I am a dead little- a dead li <laughs> a dead little worm. <laughs> I'm a deadly worm. No! No! Not a deadly worm, a deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just get back to the soil, what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where- what are you? Or where are you? Oh! Down here, creature, can you see me? My name is Fran. Hello, Fran, can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. I see, I think it is possible the moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire, you can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that, climb on now, I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Alright, I don't know if I trust those little things. Were those also a friend or in misfortune? I think they were. Alright, so we gotta put them in here. <sighs> I'm drinking coffee, but it doesn't help. It would help if I had water. Okay, so we need water first. Alright. Freaking making me go back and forth. Oh, there's probably some water here, isn't it? Oh, well. Hey, it's that one thing. Hello, are you these... Hello, are those tiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? Are you one of those? We usually get stuck, yes. How did you know this? You were not one of us. I met your kind. Yeah, I remember meeting you guys. Ah, uh, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Come on. I need some water, guys. Oh, I can go. My boots are quite dirty. I have to clean them whenever I get home. So this must be the water then. Some red water. I don't know if that's good water, but... Can I not use it? No? Use... I can't reach the water from here. Okay, maybe let's try this way. See, it was totally by chance that I even seen this. Oh, there's a bridge! I knew there... there I knew we were on the other side. Okay, so how do I get over there? Oh, I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why, that sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. No, I'm just taking pills. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're really nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Wow, what a nice head. So nice. The bucket is now full of water. Oh, thank you, shiny insects. I need to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong, but does that belong so but does that home belong somewhere? I don't understand. <laughs> it was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. 
<laughs> they just explained the entire game. She never had to go home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. <laughs> I still want to go home though. All right, so now we need to go to the fireberries with the water. I don't know. All right, this has got to work now. Oh, the fire is gone. I can take the berries now. Imagine if there was actually fruit that was on fire. What the heck? I can't just pull them off with my hands. They're firmly, firmly attached. Well, seriously, I know you got no muscles on those bones, but come on. You can't be that weak. Here, a knife. Dang, those are some big old berries. All right, well, I got everything the guy wanted, so I think we're good. Let's go back. It's time to time travel. Is he just smacking? Is he just smacking the machine? Look at him, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> what a good mechanic. Something tells me he doesn't know about this time machine. Sir, I brought the fireberries. Uh, they are not on fire anymore. Magnificent. They will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Okay, so now you want the bucket too. Sir, it word. Here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous. If, they're, if you ever see them in the fifth reality, they can burn you. Wow, burn me, Will. I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. <laughs> What's reasonable there uh, may be the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. Ah, friend, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. All right. This game's just about to get even more weird than it already is, which I didn't think was possible. Oh, you better not leave the cat. Got some Steins Gate action up in here. Oh, well, this is awkward. It's 2.36. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. Well, soon, uh, we'll soon be on the way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Understand more. Yeah, if I can understand more, maybe, uh, you'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Why not now? Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what I'd rather say? Th through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them. Now when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, friend, we have to get things done. Talking won't be- won't take you home. What thing, sir? The machine needs some maintenance and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fire bears and the water you gathered before. You'll need them to get to the water pump working again and feel mixed. You'll find all information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. i never done this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun, darling. All right, I'll go now. All right, yeah, just... I'm sure she won't mess anything up. Oh, yeah, oh, no, no, not this thing again. Is he the one that created this? I thought it was all her imagination. Oh, we got some wires. That looks important. Oh, a pink hose. Don't tell me I'm gonna collect every single thing. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I don't like this. <laughs> oh no, I don't like any of this at all. What the heck? What is this puzzle? <laughs> all right, we're gonna come back to that. Oh wait, no, we have something here. So, reality view. Ultra reality view. Chemical mixture. I'm gonna take a picture of this. All right, I ain't even gonna pretend like I know what this means, but I will try my best, guys. You have, you'll have my best. So obviously, I can see that we need a pink tube for something. So I'm gonna use it on, it looks like, okay, we need the blue one. Oh God, I am so confused. Okay, you know what? I actually think this is right. This is probably right. And then this little sucker is gonna go there. But then, uh, okay, so I can see that from the picture that we took, this goes that way. Okay, all right, all right, you know. Then, so that goes in there. Then that goes in there, and then, R18. A18 goes in there. AFM. Where's the AFM? Oh, God. Alright. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> hey, is that a green tube? Oh! That looks different. Okay. Alright. 
All right, I'm sort of getting somewhere, but I don't know if I'm actually uh, quite capable of doing this. The puzzles in these games are actually surprisingly hard. Oh my god, there's so many tubes. Are you kidding me? Whoa! Hey, what are the girls doing here? Oh, a little key. I wonder what it's for. That looks very familiar. Oh god, they look scary. They look freaking scary. Okay, what's that? What's up here? Uh, okay, I thought that was a ladder, but I guess it's not. This lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. What's in here normally? Oh. Oh, hey, that one dude! Okay. In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm, but none of the sides could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they both were mad. They look like spoons. Oh, I'm- Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. It were the creature of the night. Is this telling the story why I shouldn't trust this man? He came always around in dreams or reality. Teaching the girls the splendor of duality. Ooh, I feel like a rapper. But they couldn't understand. Edward was a fiend, our friend, not a fiend. <laughs> Edward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. <laughs> I thought it was a gay. <laughs> but Claire and Mio one day decided, I was just like wondering, I was like, why are you telling me this? To get rid of Edward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Wow, it's like a bedtime story. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Edward came to visit for the last time. I thought he was dead. And he said, You are both trapped. In the world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together. To prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance. To understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. Hey, I did that. I did all that. The end. But then they kind of died, didn't they? Like they're not alive anymore? Uh oh, whoopsie. Alright, now that we read that, can I like talk to them? Are you here to kill Itward? Oh, they ain't even talking. That's scary. I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. Ooh, that's so scary. I don't think they want to talk very much. Oh, a hammer. Obviously, the hammer stuff. Well, not if you wanted to use a hammer for something else. <laughs> uh, but for what? Nah, I'll just leave it there. Oh, duct tape. Okay. Okay. Dang, it's because I, I didn't. Every time you don't click the molecules, man. Oh, what the heck is this? Ugh. What is going on over here? It's disgusting. Ah, duct tape fixes everything. So can I can I power it on now? Oh my god, why does everything gotta be? What is this? Ah, oh, did I actually do it? <laughs> I think I solved this on accident. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to light this thing. That's what I'm missing. I'm like, what the heck do I need to do? Okay, I got it. I can follow the directions. I can't turn on the fire. There's no gas coming from the pipes. What are you talking about? Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's working. All right, so now that I did that. Oh, yes, thank you. My favorite man came back. Ran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed myself quite well, too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, friend. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. So what should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask if you're afraid of rabbits. That's my biggest fear. Oh my god. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms and I'm... 
I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to go? Have you seen your face, dude? <laughs> a rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I I just imagined one kind of rabbit. I would imagine if this dude is scared of it, I don't want anything to do with it. Is it a chocolate rabbit or one of the horns and the killer eyes? You have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and a blue boots. I like he's freaking Pennywise, man. It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. Oh, yeah, I do see why that's scary now. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Got the scariest looking dude getting me to go get his rabbit. Okay. It's like it's in there. <laughs> All right, go. Come on. That? There you see? It's just sitting there. It's a sh it's. Isn't that strange behavior? It's just a toy. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you that there's nothing to worry about. Okay. He's so scared. She dies. It's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, friend. There is nothing to be afraid of. No! Mr. Midnight! This is not funny! I should have known. What the heck is happening? I found a battery. All right. Well, okay. It looks like I have to collect that. Okay. I know how to collect things. What about this boat? It is Pennywise! It's a boat. You want your boat, Georgie? Can I click this? Oh. What happens if I click it again? It goes down. What about this? We must try everything. 5E shank. Ah, yes. I totally understand. Oh, what's this over here? Two. Oh, okay. We got a four and a one. Ah. So, a code of some sort. That's what I get out of this. What about this thing? Do I have a secret code for this? Wait, wasn't there like weird symbols on there? E. Oh, wow. I think that actually might be it. Why would they leave these things here? Okay, so maybe we have to go in order. So, one in a? One in a? I really don't know what I'm doing. Can I even do anything with it? You would think we can use it. Never mind. That was the best I had. Wait, what about this? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, I have. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, bam. Ooh, there we go. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Ah, of course, this thing. <laughs> uh, it looks like a small ventilation swirl. Oh, battery, the battery. Okay, okay. There you go, battery place, and yes, it works. All right, so what does that go to? I think we're good with that. That obviously goes to this, and I could turn it now. Oh, so now I press this. Wow, very complicated. Who would build these things? Oh, hi. Are you so the Titanic or what? What's going on? Oh, like her parents? Oh, that's so mean. That was not nice. Okay, we'll just pretend like we didn't see that. Okay, we got some water over here. A water symbol. I guess this is connected to something. So it's connected to this. Oh, what about this? I have seen these on the movies. The thief always knows what to do. This is locked. Oh, the... Okay, maybe there's something to do with those numbers. Oh my god, I never tried the freaky pills. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, a mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Does he want the thing? I've been sitting here trying to figure that out. Okay, oh wow, you can give it to him. The carrot for... What is he gonna do with it? Oh, that looks different now. Okay, so it doesn't actually do anything. Oh my god, why didn't I try that? Alright, so now let's try looking at them. Do they change? So stupid sometimes. Oh, wow. Okay, they have a direction. It's so obvious now. So, forward eight. Alright, freaking so stupid. Alright, I got this. Oh, I got it! Yeah! I'm a genius. Oh, that's how I get down here. And that's how we escape. Wow, isn't that crazy? Some work. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Whoa, dude! Surprise, Fred! Happy birthday! Do I trust this man or not? Oh, a birthday party! Whoa, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight! You lied to me! We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. 
Okay. This cake is made of all ingredients you like, Mr. Midnight. Told me which ones. And we had something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. What did he just give us? Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead and open it. Okay, all right. Oh, that's so sweet. I mean, he's got a bunch of them over here, but I love it. Wow, a candle. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Not really. But I guess. <laughs> Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. Okay, this does relate to the pills, I guess. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. So, the pills take us in another dimension. For example, in this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe I feel a bit dizzy. Ahaha, <laughs> well, that may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We are about to reach our destination. You mean we are about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. All right, here I go. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, what perfect timing. What's happening, Mr. Mina? Are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. I keep forgetting that phone knows in English. <laughs> Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There is no one left alive. You have to get rid of it to find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water, the cleans, the, the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Okay, so we have to find water. Oh, what the heck is this now? There you are, you bad thing. You're destroying our ship. Oh, that's what we have to, okay. Edward said you were dirty. I have to clean you up with water. Do I still have some? It could work if I, okay. There was water in here, right? We put, I ended up putting water in here. Oh, ah, I see. Okay, maybe we can do that. Wow, that must've took a long time, but whatever. All right, surely that works. It's a perfect plan. Oh! <laughs> Die, Satan! Ugh, don't run away. Where are you going? It so reminds me of Spirited Away. Not even funny. With the black stuff. That's a huge spinning top! Okay, so now what? I fixed it? Please, sir, I need your help! I can't help you now, friend. I have to concentrate. Oh, maybe we have to go on top of the ship. The ship. We have to get rid of him for good, I guess? Come on, you tell me this guy. Oh, I see. He's here, isn't he? That's why we have to do this thing. I knew it. Not what really the heck is happening to him? <laughs> I think I mean, <laughs> I ain't the only one on the pills, dude. It looks like Hypnotoad from Futurama. Oh wait, no, the thing. We never put it back like an idiot. All right, I think I know what we did wrong. Yep, that's it. That's clearly it. That's why we don't have water because it's all leaked out. And it was that easy. Wow. Ah, it burns! Come on, you ain't dead yet? All right, you gotta maybe do this again. We're gonna do this the hard way. Oh, one more, one more. Okay, yeah, stay there. If he doesn't like it, why does he just fly away? Ah, all right, slightly to the right. That's your special move? Okay, I'll counter that. <laughs> yes, I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best, I should go back to Edward. Oh, we just snapped out of the pills, okay. We did it, the Kamala's gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. Of course you can't. We're going down. No, please, don't tell me this is not fair. It's not fair. Aw, and she's so sad. Poor girls had to, I will always take care of you, my dear. I never thought he was a good guy, but he seems pretty good. Yeah, we freaking passed it! And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are they dead?
But that is a very sad ending. It were tell me another story. Oh. Alright, this is the story of Fran, Bo, and me. Alright, oh, I just read it again. <laughs> when she promised never to forget about me or the magic of everything. And I promise, Edward, I will never forget you. Good, now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Or when you take pills. Chapter 4, Part 2, Doctor's Prescription. Well, that was quite a wild ride, guys. We freaking... I thought we were time traveling, but I guess we're not. Oh, oh, she woke up in the middle of the forest and Bambi's here. Edward? Today, Scrub of the Day goes to... Salu M. Official. Hey, I love that. That's a cute little scrub there. <laughs> Guys, uh, sorry that I took so long to play some more Frambo, but we're gonna finish this, alright? Uh, besides, I want to be prepared for whenever uh, Frambo 2 comes out, so... Uh, smash like for some more Fran Bow. And with that being said, I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Hey, you might get scrub of the day next time. Alright, bye!